the seat belt position. Okay? And there, there's there's only been one guy that I know of that like rode a seat belt all the time and he used it to turn. This guy named Jesse Dong that wrestled for uh, uh, Virginia Tech. The reason why it's kind of a weird thing to use to just turn is because I, I'm not controlling his hips near as much as if I have a short leg ride or a cross body ride. That's what I'm talking about, about seat belt position. A lot of times guys in, in a leg ride will use it as like a, a safety to not get reversed or to keep tight. But it, there's not a lot of turns from it. So he gets the hip smash strong position right here. And that's what I'm talking about. Like to this position right here, grabbing their own shin and the leg being all the way across. See how I'm not hooking any part of the body or hooking any part of his leg? This seat belt position right here, okay? So I'm grabbing my sock, and a lot of times they'll be blocking the elbow and just seat belt right here. Trying to stay tight, whether they're trying to just ride, right, or get a stalemate or whatever. Because this strong position, this hip smash position, isn't the most ideal position for the guy to be riding legs, okay? So anytime that we're here, and maybe we put them outside, we cross rake and seal, and we put them outside, they're gonna to go to that safety position, all right? Because they can't stay tight with that top hand, so a lot of times they'll just go next best position, and they'll just keep the seat belt right here. Now, one thing the seat belt does do is it keeps the hips tight, and then maybe if I can get back inside, I can stretch this guy out and get back to my turn, all right? The minute they go seat belt, we're gonna scissor and shelf, all right? So the minute I feel this guy seat belt the leg, and a lot of times it'll come after we put them outside. So I'm, I'm, I'm hip smash position, cross rake and seal. The minute I feel him go seat belt, I'm gonna keep my elbow tight, but I'm gonna attack down, and then I'm gonna scissor my legs. Everybody see that? I scissored my legs. He's staying tight with the seat belt. I'm gonna keep my elbow tight, okay? But I'm gonna scissor my legs, and I'm gonna shelf his seat belt up on my back leg, okay? Now, from this point, that hand, that top hand, is gonna go under the knee and attack the thigh. I went under the knee and attacked the thigh. And I'm still stepping up right here. And then all I'm doing is I'm, I'm twisting this guy's body around mine. My bottom knee's gonna start to chase his hip, and I'm gonna end up in this position. Does everybody see how I'm kinda hugging the bend of his knee? That's important. When he goes seat belt, and hey, in a match, it's gonna be tight. In a max, it's going to be tight, and that guy's going to be squeezing. So it's probably not going to slide near as much as we're doing while we're drilling, but it's going to be small adjustments. I, see how I'm turning my hips to the right as I'm pulling that leg to the left? All right, this might be a new, like, club move right here. Just, uh, right, I'm pulling the knee, twisting my hips. That small adjustment right there when he goes seat belt. And now watch. If I just stay here, strong position, and I don't scissor, watch how, watch how it changes his position when I, when I scissor my legs and step up. See how it's starting to get closer to him being flat on his butt? That's my goal, leg defense. Put him flat on his butt. I reach under the leg to the thigh. And then again, I'm pulling the leg across and I'm turning my hip towards him. So I'm pulling the hip to my left and I'm turning my hip to the right. And again, I don't have a post to my right. So when I get here, if my arm's still trapped, get skinny. Start working across. I got a pretty good base here. He's almost flat on his butt. I like my options when I get there. Hey, Barney Lucas. So again, we clear top hand, or this guy's just getting there wasting time. All right? Leg comes in. Right here, pressure back, pressure back. Give him my hip smash. Chest low. Maybe I'm here. Brian right here. He feels this starting to create some separation. He goes seat belt. Okay, right here, he goes seat belt. All right, I might stay here, all right, and try to keep pressuring away, or I might come back outside, scissor my legs, and shelf up. Again, I'm coming under the knee. I'm hugging the bend of his knee, pulling it across to my left as I'm circling to my right, getting skinny. Then when I get here, it's not circle anymore. It's sit back, get skinny, wrestle into this guy. Notice I got a good wide base right here, and I'm focused on getting my head in between my body and his. All right, any questions? Anybody need to see it again? Could I see it again? Good, one more time? Sure. Coming right at you. This good? All right. Strong position. Tight, tight, tight. Pressure back, pressure back, pressure back. Okay, maybe I'm digging in with this elbow wedge. Right here, and he goes seat belt. I, I, might, I might even, and this is new to me, 
me this elbow wedges, but I might even just grab right here and keep my elbow wedge. I feel like I'm fighting against myself right here. I don't know, but I might need to spend some time here. But I know I like this elbow wedge. Okay? So if you want to try to do elbow wedge and then pull the seat belt, that's fine. I'm usually outside, so I don't know yet. But I just know I know I need to get that scissor and hug the knee. Okay? Then I'm pulling it across my body, getting skinny here, wrestling back into this guy. Alright? So I basically took him from my back and rotated him all the way in front. I pulled him all the way in front of me. Go! 